Lorelai, come back to the table. Is this what it's going to be like every Friday night? I come over and let the two of you attack me? You're being very dramatic. Dramatic? Were you at that table just now? Yes, I was. And I think you took what your father said the wrong way. The wrong way? How could I have taken it the wrong way? What was open to interpretation? Why do you pounce on every single thing I say? That's absurd. You barely uttered a word all night. That's not true. You said pie. Oh, come on. You did. All I heard you say was pie. Why would he bring up Christopher? Was that really necessary? He likes Christopher. Isn't that interesting? Because as I remember, when Christopher got me pregnant, Dad didn't like him so much. Oh, well, please. You were 16. What were we supposed to do, throw you a party? We were disappointed. The two of you had such bright futures. Yes, and by not getting married, we got to keep those bright futures. When you get pregnant, you get married. A child needs a mother and a father. Oh, Mom, do you think that Christopher would have his own company right now if we'd gotten married? Do you think he would be anything at all? Yes, I do. Your father would have put him in the insurance business, and you'd be living a lovely life right now. He didn't want to be in the insurance business, and I am living a lovely life right now. That's right. Far away from us. Oh, here we go. You took that girl and completely shut us out of your life. You wanted to control me. You were still a child. I stopped being a child the minute the strip turned pink, okay? I had to figure out how to live. I found a good job. As a maid? With all your brains and talent. I worked my way up. I run the place now. I built a life on my own with no help from anyone. Yes, and think of where you would have been if you'd accepted a little help, hmm? And where Rory would have been? But no, you were always too proud to accept anything from anyone. Well, I wasn't too proud to come here to you two begging for money for my kid's school, was I? No, you certainly weren't. But you're too proud to let her know where you got it from, aren't you? Well, fine. You have your precious pride, and I have my weekly dinners. Isn't that nice? We both win. Mom? I'm OK. I just. Do I look shorter? Because I feel shorter. Hey, how about I buy you a cup of coffee? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you drive, though, OK? Because I don't think my feet will reach the pedals. <laughs> so nice dinner at the grandparents' house. Oh, yeah, her dishes have never been cleaner. You and Grandma seem to have a nice talk. How much did you hear? Not much, you know, snippets. Snippets? Little snippets. So basically everything? Basically, yes. Well, the best laid plans. I think it was really brave of you to ask him for money. Oh, I so do not want to talk about it. So how many meals is it going to take to we're off the hook? I think the deli spread at my funeral will be the last one. 